The Cube presents Dell Technologies World, brought to you by Dell. Hey everyone, happy afternoon. Welcome back to theCUBE. This is Lisa Martin with Dave Vellante. We are on day three of our coverage of Dell Technologies World, live from Las Vegas with about seven to 8,000 people here. It's been a great two and a half days. Lots of people are still here. We're going to be talking more about Dell services. I've got a couple of guys from Dell Technologies joining us next. Please welcome Patrick Mooney, Senior Vice President of Services Product Management at Dell, and Satish Iyer, Vice President of Emerging Services at Dell. Guys, welcome to the program. Thank Thank you, good evening, great to be, to be here. So isn't it great to be back in person? It's so great. Those hallway conversations, you just can't replicate it for video conferencing, right? Yeah. Priceless. They are, it is priceless, I agree. Patrick, let's start with you. Talk to us about, from, from a customer's perspective, what are some of the key services they've been looking for the last couple of years particularly, and how has Dell changed its strategic direction to deliver? Yeah, great, great question. Customers want outcomes and services are at the heart of outcomes. So when we look at you know, customers transforming, we're continually transforming and modernizing what we do. And everything we're doing is centered around making it easy to buy, easy to consume, and just centered around the customer. What are people looking for these days, Satish? I mean, what are they, what's, what's the, the top three or four priorities? And we know cyber's up there. Yeah, I mean, uh, one is you know, when customers are consuming cloud, now, there is more and more what we call as customers are looking for full stack solutions, right? So they start with giving me the best infrastructure on the platforms. Now they're saying, I'm going to use those infrastructure to drive X, Y, and Z. Now, Mr. Dell, can you come and give me those stack so I don't need to worry about anything and I can actually consume it in the cloud-like way. That's been, that's been massive for us. Yeah, so how do you guys respond to that? I mean, things, in our little business, things change so fast. Right, and we can, but we're little, we can move fast. <laughs> Customers are saying, okay, pandemic, forced march to digital, and now we got to figure it out, and now we got to modernize our, our HQ. How are you able to keep up? How are you uh, changing your strategy as your customers pull you in different directions? What, what's going on inside the organization to enable that? Yeah, I think the key is that we meet customers where they are, and help them plot out where they want to be and then, and then bring them along that journey. And we've, we've really spent a lot of time developing four practices to help get there. One's around data and applications, another around multi-cloud, another around workforce, and another around security and resiliency. And no matter where they want to be, you know, whether they want to do it, them, uh, do it themselves, they want us to help them do it, or they want us to do it for them, you know, we're there for them and we'll help them get where they want to be. Do you have like formal customer councils or how, how do you actually, are, are especially the last couple of years, staying engaged with those customers? <laughs> Absolutely, we're always talking to customers. It's critical to the model. You know, and, and we got a lot of ideas and customers have a lot of ideas and we want to vet those and talk through them. So no matter what point we're at in our, our product development cycle, we're always talking with customers. Hey, do we hear you right? Is this the value you're looking for? And as we're developing it, can you help us test it and so on? And we do that through regular conversations field testing, customer uh, insight councils, and it just feels so great to be having face-to-face -face conversations again uh, as well. So, are, oh, go ahead. Please. I was going to say, what are some of the things that you've heard face-to-face -face this week in terms of the direction, what Dell Services is delivering? Well, one big one for sure is that remote workforce is here to stay. And in our workforce pillar, uh, you know, we spent a lot of time around how do we make it easy for customers to manage a remote workforce? It's a big challenge. So we've, we've recently, uh, we announced here at Dell World, Lifecycle Hub Services, where we, it's a managed service where we're helping customers manage their entire, entire device lifecycle around their PC. So imagine this, you know, you have a new hire join or somebody leaves, how do you get them that PC, have it ready? You know, let Dell take care of all the logistics. We'll, we'll, we'll store it, we'll configure it, we'll send it to them, we'll take the old machines back, we'll kit it for them. Anything that's needed and fully integrated it from, from the customer's system into our system so it's all automated. Okay, and all the patching, et cetera. Everything. Okay, so you got four pillars, data and apps, multi-cloud, workforce, and resiliency. What you just described, automation, this IP, and, and the, what's the IP portfolio look like? How does it map into those four pillars? Sure, you want to take that? Sure, uh, so obviously, when you look at growth areas and services, it's absolutely important to, for us to develop some sustainable IP, 
right? Uh, if you look at one of the areas where we have invested and we are growing is a cloud managed services platform. So Dell is unique in terms of managing our customer services. We actually do full life cycle management of the customers. So we invested quite a bit of, I would say, time and energy and engineering efforts to basically solve problems in an engineered way. So the customer uh, cloud managed services platform allows us to actually bring both, you know, you talked about Apex before to our other colleagues. So it allows us to both bring Apex services to our customers and also allows us to bring non-Apex services in terms of fully managed stack to our customers. So multi-cloud must be a rich opportunity, it's probably almost infinite. Uh, there's a lot of gaps there for IP development. What are you, what are you seeing and hearing from customers with regard to those gaps? Uh, so one of the key areas we, uh, when you talk about multi-cloud, is we talk to customers about is the solution things we talked about. So we launched, we announced three solutions. You know, one we already launched, and then two of them we pre-announced. Uh, is customers want that end-to-end -end outcome, right? Because we are, we are, they are saying, well, we are currently where we started today. We are, uh, we announced cyber recovery as a service. As you guys know, within the you know current geopolitical climate, cyber attacks are common, ransomware is common. So, and this is something which we are doing today to customers, what customers want is a simplicity of our offering. They're like, you can help us with cyber recovery when something happens, I have an insurance policy so I can actually go, I know where my data sets are, I can recover from it, but can you streamline it for me? I don't want all the headaches. Can you make sure that it's easily consumable and Dell can take care of everything for me? And we're also investing on other solutions like machine learning, high performance compute, and we're also looking at vertical areas. So our customer, you know, especially in telco, edge, and enterprise applications. So we're looking at those as a full stack offerings so that we can actually you know, educate and take our customers on the journey on our cloud platforms. I want to talk about Dell services as a facilitator of multi-cloud. You know, Chuck Witten was on stage, he was here yesterday talking about multi-cloud is here by default. Yep. Well, Dell wants to change that to mm -hmm. multi-cloud by design. Mm -hmm. How can Dell services be a facilitator of that transformation that customers in telco or whatever industry have going from we've got it by default to now it's actually by design? facilitating that? Yeah, I'll, I'll jump in and let you take sure. it. I, we have a, a robust consulting practice which can help you come in and understand where you're at and where you want to be and design that future so that it's not, as you said, by default. It's absolutely multi-cloud by design. Anything you want to add? Yeah, I mean, the, the, look, uh, again, uh, we, Dell has been doing multi-cloud for a long time. We just didn't call it multi-cloud, right? Uh, I would probably say 2014, 2015, Dell's been there. We know our customers have a choice. We want to operationalize, we want to help our customers run workloads wherever they want to run, right? Now we have a term for it, we have a dedicated way of you know, talking about it, and again, more automation, more IP development, more software, and again, taking a lot of the people part away from services and driving more innovation, more IP is where we are going to be able to differentiate. So you're a large and pretty sophisticated services organization. We've talked about some of your IP. You now bring that to your customers. What are some of the adoption barriers that they have? How are you addressing those? In terms I'll, of taking your IP and your ideas and you, you come up with say, hey, we got this, you can apply this. <laughs> what, what are they not ready for that you sort of advise them? Okay, you got to do, these are some maybe some out of scope things that you haven't talked about or thought about. Yeah, I mean, I'll take one, and I know Patrick will probably touch on, so I would say two big ones I can think about. One is data, one is on security, right? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the sure. data use case. So data is gravity, right? Um, it's not, uh, when customers think about multi-cloud, think about solution, think about these services, it's not easy to take petabytes and terabytes of data and shift all over the place. It's very, very expensive. So a lot of their cloud strategy really hinges on where the data is and how they're going to optimize those data for the outcomes they want to decide. And that's something a lot of our customers initially don't think about it. As we actually go and talk to them about the specific use case and application, that actually becomes forefront of the discussion. Hmm. You want to? Yeah, uh, on the security front, you know, customers are just overwhelmed with the number of options in a very fragmented, extremely important space. So we've tried to make that very easy for them with our managed detection and response services, bringing the best of the industry and, and Dell services together to give them a one-stop shop managed service. Let us watch for you so that you can run your business. And when we detect something, we'll, we'll advise you and help you respond. Uh, What's the tooling like there? I mean, you have 
do you have your preferred tooling? Uh, are the customers saying, well, we got to use this vendor or that vendor? How, does that, how do you manage all that complexity? Uh, of course we have our preferred tooling and we partner greatly with SecureWorks to do it, uh, as well as some other, uh, other companies. But that said, what's important to us with the service is that a customer meets specific, uh, they're, they're green in five different categories and if they're green in those categories, then we're, we're good to help them. And if they don't know how to do that, then we'll come in and do a security assessment to help them get there. And you know, just taking, taking what's very complicated and making it easy. On the security front, we've, talk about, we've been talking about the cyber skills gap, massive skills gap that's been around for years. How are you, how is Dell Services facilitator of, the, of organizations being able to close that gap? Sure, in a few ways. One, we can just do it for you, right? Two, if you want to do it yourself, we can supplement you with security residents to help you manage uh, through the complexity and cross train while, while you know, as part of your staff. Uh, and then three, we have our Dell Education Services where we can come in and train you as well. So lots of different options on how you want to do it. That people op uh, option. No matter what you choose, we're here for you. <laughs> <laughs> that people option's important. I mean, the people being the biggest threat vector that there is, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, for Absolutely. sure. That's, that's probably one of the hardest ones to, to augment. Yeah, I mean, that's the reason why, you know, when you look at cyber recovery, customers want somebody else to manage it because you don't want the same folks making the same mistake on an insurance policy, right? So they're like, Dell, you manage it for me, so I don't have the same actors doing same things, right? right? So I have somebody managing my data, but somebody managing my recovery option, so in case something goes wrong, I know it's a different handset, different people who are much more relaxed when things have go bad. That's always nice to have somebody that's relaxed in a crisis, Absolutely. right? I think I'll take that in my personal life too. <laughs> Guys, thank you for joining thank Dave you. and me, talking about what's new with Dell Services, the modernization that you're undergoing and how your customers are really helping to evolve this strategy. We appreciate your insights. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks so much for your thank time. You, Great seeing you. Right. Yeah. Likewise, yeah. for Dave Vellante, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE. This is day three of our coverage of Dell Technologies World, live from Las Vegas. Stick around, Dave and I will be right back with our next guest.